champion and present contender Tony Tubbs as he goes up against the on-rushing Melton Bowen. Tony Tubbs knows what on-rushing is all about. He's won three straight, but has vivid memories of last August when Lionel Butler caught him in the first round. And tonight, Tubbs goes against another quick-starting, stocky puncher in Melton Bowen, who owns 13 first-round knockouts. Bowen's biggest moment came three years ago, when Carl The Truth Williams was one of the top heavyweight contenders. He nearly laid out the truth before succumbing later, so Tubbs knows what he's getting into. Melton is going to charge at me, because he knows that I'm a slow starter. But what I'm going to do is just basically, I'm going to keep him at an angle. If I can keep him at an angle, I can always step around and sass him, step around him. I would make him do more, more moving than he probably ever did in the first round with other fighters. But then, you know, I catch pretty good, too. You know, I, I'm a pretty good blocker. He's going to come out with a lot of jabs and movement. I see. He can't, he can't move for 10 rounds. I know it. 235 pounds, he's not going to be able to move on um, 10 rounds. So what do you do? <laughs> That's, that's when I plan my attack. So that's when I get, I'm gonna keep, put pressure on him. If he throw two, I'm gonna throw three. If he throw three, I'm gonna throw six. Just keep that pressure on him. And you think your strength will finally find its mark? I think so. Tony Tubbs now has a top 10 ranking. Five months ago, he defeated Jesse Ferguson, the man who has an upcoming date with Riddick Bowe. So where does that put Tubbs in the heavyweight picture? Riddick, just out of being the kind of guy I am, or just by him being champion of the world, I ought to give him a title shot. I'm former heavyweight champion of the world, which the gentleman had four losses. Three have been the world champions. My first, you know, my, my loss with Lionel Butler was a fluke. Well, outside that Lionel Butler fight, uh, Tony Tubbs makes a case for himself. He was the first fighter to take Riddick Bowe the distance. Only he and Holyfield have accomplished that. He's now worked his way back uh, into the top ten at number nine. Do you see the day that Tony Tubbs uh, will once again fight for the heavyweight championship well, of the world? In boxing, anything can happen. Yeah, I think it could, it could conceivably happen. He is a fighter that is still very marketable. He is a former heavyweight champion of the world. He has a winning record. He is a big heavyweight with one of the last of the big, good left jabs. He is still very good as a fighter, very good inside the ropes. That is his home. He knows where he is, and he knows how to fight. And uh, unlike some other former heavyweight champions, uh, Tony Tubbs uh, is uh, fighting uh, somewhat quality opposition. He certainly won't turn anybody down, and he is staying very busy. Yeah, you have to give him credit for that. He's uh, very busy. He takes on... A Milton Bowen, who is no slouch, Mil Milton Bowen takes a fight to his opponent and he tries to make a war out of it, which could play right in the hands of Tony Tubbs. But Tony Tubbs, as he said, uh, a slow starter, and you know Milton Bowen is a very fast starter. Let's check out these two heavyweights in the Castrol tail of the tape. And uh, Tony Tubbs, at 233 pounds, uh, is actually the finesse guy, the boxer. And the smaller 216-pound Mountain Bowen is the puncher in this fight. But Tubbs, the boxer, has that 7-inch reach advantage, and he will be sticking the jab in the face of Melton Bowen. The rules here in Michigan are as such. Standing eight count is in effect. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Saved by the bell only in the last round. And the scoring is the 10-point must scoring system. We're ready for the intros, and so let's go up to Wally Jackson. Boxing fans, welcome to beautiful Auburn Hills, Michigan. Fight Night Incorporated is proud to present Budweiser Fight Night at the Palace, brought to you by Metro 25. And Budweiser, the king of beers, is proud to present 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. The man in control, our referee is Sam Williams. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the black trucks, weighed in at 216 pounds, has a professionally has 25 wins, three defeats, 19 wins by way of knockout. From Miami, Florida, here is Milton Bowen. And his opponent in the blue corner wearing the red trunks, 
weighed in at 233 pounds, as a professional, he has 33 wins, 4 defeats, 19 wins by way of knockout. From Redondo Beach, California, here is the former heavyweight champion, Tony TNT Tubbs. Your low blows, your kidney punches, your head butts. I'm not man to break. I want you to take a full step back, with your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck, man. The master technician in Tony Tubbs, at the age of 34, is one of the busiest heavyweights. This is his fifth fight in the last eight months. And he is encouraged not only by what George Foreman and Larry Holmes have accomplished, but right now, Tony Tubbs just wants to get into a championship fight like a Michael Dokes and a Jesse Ferguson and pick up some big money. I don't think he has any of the uh, delusions of grandeur of becoming the world champion when you really sit down and talk to him, but he just wants to get there again. And uh, there is a... Uh, Tubbs starting quickly with the jab, perhaps reversing the roles. He is the slow starter, and Bowen is the fast starter. And he's been known as a slow starter. That has been the big knock against Tony Tubbs. Now he's trying to start faster, start quicker. Look also starting fast at Bowen. Bowen said, I'm going to go right to him in the opening round, because this guy, he saw the Lionel Butler fight, and he said, this man starts off slow. If he can set his pace early, then he usually wins. But if I can get him off that, catch him in the first few rounds, this fight will be mine. And Tubbs at the 34, almost got himself in trouble there. Took the attack with a big lunging right hand, and the Bowen snapping back. Tubbs from that the Butler fight, here he is at the age of 34 and he's still learning. He said, you just can't come in cold to a fight. And saw so what happened, clock. That was his first fight in six months. He had been out to six months on one of his several suspensions due to uh, cocaine. And right now it is uh, Bowen putting uh, what looks like a, a very unsteady Tony Tubbs here off the start. Bowen uh, had his big chance against Carl the Truth Williams. You saw the highlights of that one, but he went into the fight uh, a little overconfident. He says uh, in this one he's confident, but not overly but against uh, uh, Tony Tubb. Certainly uh, won't take any unnecessary chances, and uh, maybe that's why he is uh, basically stepping back here off the start. Unbelievable. 13 first-round knockouts owned by Melton Bowen. And he is a very fast starter. He has 19 KOs on his ledger. 17 of them have come in the first two rounds. And, uh, that's something Tony Tubbs knows. He's looking to get through this first couple of rounds and knowing also that the Melton Bowen has never gone past eight. 28 fights, he's never gone past the eighth round. And one of the things that Tubbs wants to do, and Tubbs is great at this. Technically, he knows how to pick his opponent apart over the distance. He is more effective later in a fight than he is earlier in a fight. And so many fighters are not able to do that. Real ring technician. You talked about the Carl the Truth Williams fight. Milton Bowen said that he was inexperienced earlier in his career. When he fought the truth, Carl started talking trash during the fight. So he told me I can't hit, that I'm no good, that I will beat you. But he just picked that up, put under his hat as experience. Ten seconds to go in the first round. It is scheduled for ten, and we will pause for a word from your local cable systems.